It's Mike from Here the Watchman. Man, this message this morning is probably the most important post that I have made on our YouTube channel. I just want to let you know the church is dead. I'm telling you. I mean, to uh, to take one of Pastor Paul Bagley's comments and just put it out there. Are you serious? I mean, I'm telling you. I had a conversation today with one of the churches. It's a mega church. And I'm not going to tell you which church it was out of respect. However, I will tell you that I had a conversation with someone about our effort, Mission Christian, to help our veteran, uh, John Probst, who's trying to get back on his feet. And when I talked to this church, what they told me was, oh, we would like to help, but all our resources are allocated to help the Syrian refugees who we have coming over setting them up in apartments and getting them jobs and getting them going. Really? I mean, I'm trying to, and we are trying to, provide for an American citizen who served his country, put his life at risk, his family is having problems, he's having problems, and this church wants to help a Syrian refugee instead of a United States veteran. What's going on? This is what's wrong with America. You know what? You got the church is just gone. And that's why efforts like Hear the Watchman, efforts like Steve Quayle, the Hagmans, Pastor Paul Bagley, Josh Tolley, Lisa Haven, Lynn Leas, all the people who are out there trying to spread the word of Jesus to all of you and to get you off the couch and into action to make America great again not to steal anything from Donald Trump, but really, if we can't help our own people, help those veterans who have gone out and served our country fearlessly risking their lives before we help others from other countries, then we're doomed. And we need to unite as Christians and help our own. America can be great again, but we need your help. The church is dead, folks. I don't know. I mean, I was just astounded when I heard that response. And there's nothing I can do about it. So we have to pull together. Please pull together. You know, we're, we do these conferences across the country. We're doing the one in Las Vegas this weekend with Billy Crone, L.A. Marzulli, Donald Perkins, and Carl Tietrib. Lisa Haven is going to be the MC of the event, and we're going to be streaming it live here on our YouTube channel for you to see, because we want to get the word out. Please, people, unite. Help us to help our veteran and his family to get back on their feet. Go to GoFundMe.com forward slash Mission Christian. Join all the people there, and God bless and thank each and every one of you who gone on and donated in the last 24 hours to try and save this family. That's what makes America great. It's not helping a bunch of Syrian refugees coming over here and setting them up in apartments. Let's start with our own people. Let's start with our veterans who protect us and who, who just defended our right to worship the Lord Jesus Christ freely here in the United States. So please people, don't let the church die. Stand up, 
be accountable, and let's make something happen. God bless each and every one of you. I hope to see some of you in Las Vegas at Pastor Billy Crone's church for the Deception in the Desert concert, but at least I hope to see you on our YouTube channel where you can follow the entire conference. Again, God bless you. Please pray for our country, pray for our veterans, get up off the couch, help someone today. God bless.